Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Chris Chris Han. I review fashion, beauty, and lifestyle products. Today I created a selfie perfect look, which is glowing, radiant, and super natural. I always like to use skin loving products to create my makeup looks. It's very comfortable to wear and it's picture ready. I will show you how I create this look step by step. Make sure you stick around. This look is absolutely perfect for everyday wear. Natural complexion, glowing skin, soft eyes, and full lips. The makeup should never overpower anyone's own complexion and features. It should enhance and define the natural beauty. I start off with my cleansed and dried skin. Kiehl's Butter Mask for Lips is my current go-to lip mask. I like to apply it generously before I do anything on my face so that my lip skin can enjoy a little bit more care while I'm doing other steps. This product is infused with coconut oil and wild mango butter. You can use it for overnight or just apply it whenever you need to hydrate the lip skin. It helps my skin restore moisture barrier. The lips look soft and supple after using it. Leave it on like this while you're doing the makeup. Up next, I will prepare my skin using Dalba White Truffle First Spray Serum. Look at the bi-layer formula. The top layer is the oil layer for moisturization, and the bottom layer looks watery. This is the White Truffle Serum for hydration. It's the first spray serum. This is a great idea. It's so easy to use. Shake it well before using it. Spray it evenly onto the skin. You see cloud-like mist. It's so refreshing and hydrating. The spray serum is multitasking. I use it for both pre-makeup and post-makeup, or anytime I need hydration throughout the day. I love the lightweight serum. It's packed with antioxidants. This product improves my skin elasticity and smooths my fine lines. This step gives an instant glow and my skin absorbs like very well. It looks so soft and supple immediately. Okay, now my skin is ready for the next steps. Hydration is really the foundation for good makeup. I just prime my skin using an oil-free base primer. This Pure Lease Silk Glow BB Base Primer. It provides a satin smooth base for makeup application. It helps me improve the appearance of my pores and the imperfections. Also, the makeup will be long lasting with this base primer. This product also enhances the natural glow of my skin. I really like how it feels on my skin. I like the texture. For today's look, I will skip my foundation. It's gonna be a natural complexion. I'll be using only Bobbi Brown Skin Concealer Stick. My shades are 3 Warm Ivory and 7 Warm Beige. I use them for different skin areas. These creamy sticks provide long-lasting medium coverage, just enough to cover some of the dark circles in her eyes and my dark spots on the cheeks. That's it. I apply the concealer with my Beauty Blender for an even and natural finish. You can do it with your fingers if you want. Okay, so I just focus on my under eye area and uh, around my mouth. These are my trouble areas. The final complexion should look like this, very natural. My ideal complexion look is a natural and radiant look. No trace of foundation products at all. For my brows, I use this Brow Wiz by Anastasia Beverly Hills. My shade is ash brown. I did my microblading a few weeks ago, so I only need a little bit just to touch up and fill in the gaps in my brows. The shape is there, so it's very easy to work with. This pencil with a fine tip and a small spoolie is perfect for this task. The shade matches my own brow hair, so here is the final look. The next step is to finish my brows with the Brow Glue by NYX. This clear brow glue can nicely define my own brows and hold this look for a long time. Just brush the brows upwards like this. After gel dries, it looks totally transparent. For my eyes, I will start with Charlotte Tilbury, the Beautyverse palette. 
This is a limited edition eyeshadow palette. This palette has both metallic shimmering shades and the neutral shades. The shimmering shades are very beautiful, but I'll be focusing on only two matte shades this time for a natural look. Virtual Taupe and Cosmic Pink. I want a makeup look that's like a neutralized version of pink core eye. I use very little pink powder to swipe the whole eyelids. It is romantic and soft. Add some depths of the eyes with this top color. Soften the edges with a long, clean brush like this. It's actually very easy, just two steps. Now the eyeshadow is done. Now move on to the eyeliner. The liner is going to be natural and minimal. I use Benefit Roller Liner. It has a long and soft tip. The color is like matte black. I just fill in the lash gaps with this liquid liner. It precisely defines my eyes. This time I won't be doing anything like winged eyes for this look. I just slightly add a little bit of lens towards the end to define and elongate my eyes. It looks natural and clean. This eyeliner dries quickly and it won't smudge. Honestly, the blush is a main character because I want to enhance the healthy complexion. I use this one from Kia Wise. The shade is blushing. It's like a coral pink. It's so pretty. I like this cream blush for its skincare ingredients like sweet almond oil and jojoba seed oil. It's so hydrating and glowing. The product is highly pigmented, so I use my fingers to melt the product and apply it on the skin, just with the fingers. And then blend it with my Anissa Beauty Brush for an even look. And then I quickly curl the lashes, apply the Tole Calypso Mascara. It cares for the lashes while it works like a mascara. So this product is very beautiful and very easy to apply. This formula has botanical complex and peptides to boost the natural growth of my lashes. I like how it opens my eyes without clumping the lashes. Plus, it's got the lash friendly ingredients. Next, I just want to add a slight touch of sun kissed glow. With this product, it's from Shell Tilbury again, Pillow Talk Beauty Light Wand. This shade is Pillow Talk Medium. I really enjoy this light golden shade that looks just enough to highlight my complexion. I apply it with a brush to keep it subtle and natural. And then wipe off the lip mask to get the lip skin ready for lipsticks. The lip product is also from Shallow Tilbury. The shade is Pillow Talk. It's so iconic. It's a very classic nude pink that is not too warm or too cool. It is perfect for all skin tones. This lipstick just makes the lips look fuller and prettier. I am such a big fan of this hydrating formula. It won't dry my skin at all. This is actually my fifth tube. I always keep her in my makeup bag. Now let me finish the lips with the Dips Go To Glossy Balm. This is just to add some extra shine to the lips on top of the lipstick. It'll make the lips picture perfect, trust me. This lip gloss is not that sticky. After one swipe, the lips look supple and glowing and much fuller. You can layer it if you want and it's super comfortable to wear. The look is almost done. Now I want to hydrate the skin again with Dalba Spray Serum. It feels great to treat the skin again with some cloudy mist. Now just take a close look at the skin. The skin looks glowing and happy. So here's the final look. Let's take some selfies. This is my favorite healthy looking makeup look for selfies or every day because I want to look healthy and radiant in person. Just with these easy steps, I can look good and feel good without compromising the health and the comfort of my skin. How do you like it? So that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and I have linked all the products in the video description. You can go from there. And that's it for now. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.